Hello dreamers, it's Space Falcon back making, what did I call them? Planetoids in the cosmos space. Oh, it's my dream since I was a young, young guy and I'm definitely not that anymore, but hey, still going with the dream and that's what I encourage you to do. Hey, what are you looking at today? It's kind of cool. We're learning how to actually make terrestrial planets in dreams. Hey, shout out to dreams. Love the fact that we can do this stuff. It's an amazing media molecule. Um, and thank you for letting us share and uh, share this amazing new technology, visual technology of Flex with the whole world. It's a fantastic thing. So what are Flex? Well, you can see that. Uh, I'm drinking my coffee. I'm sorry. Edit this out. Okay, yeah, you probably didn't want to hear that. But anyways, that's what you get with the Space Falcon show. All right, here we are. See, these are flex here, these these little circles. Now, um, at first you say, I, there's a lot of, you know, novice people who would say, um, well, I don't want that. Well, yeah, you do. And why? Because um, that's how you make detail. And that's how you make it look real, like up here. You can see that that's uh, in effect. And then also if, with the... Uh, with um, a large amount of time and effort, you can make something like this happen, okay? And, and this is what we looked at in the last video, is just me getting started figuring out how to do terrestrial planets. Now, um, how does that work out? Well, it was pretty heavy, so we're at 81 graphics memory. Um, is that my fault? Yes, that's my fault. So maybe we could start today just by looking at this planet and seeing if it could be optimized because I like this planet a lot. I think that it might be Earth 2. Um, it seems pretty cool. I'm definitely going to do a couple of these types of planets and you see there's a mix of this. Um, well, let me show you what I want to do with this right here. Um, the coolest thing is uh, we're going to go into the group and we're going to grab that. Okay, and we did. And now we're going to pop open the well, I thought I had it there. Okay, there we go. Now, I like to animate the ocean. And maybe it already is. Nah, there we go. There we go. Hit the play button. I think that's so cool. Uh, the other thing that we could do is so the, the ocean is actually moving. So I, I thought four or five is about right. So that's more planetary. It's just like really slowly undulating. It gives a nice effect. Um, and also we, we probably want to pull the impasto down a little bit so it's not so everywhere. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Get a nice planetary effect happening there. And that just went globally, by the way. So the whole globe just changed. And you see that this Okay, so now this angular world is now a little bit, uh, oh, it doesn't have it actually, so it's interesting. See, there's a lot more of that on the bottom rather than the top, and that's okay. Let's just pull it back a little bit. We want that, maybe we can pull. That's a little loose. Ooh, look, we got the ruffle. They were super ruffle. Yeah, we'll leave it where it was. So anyways, um, here's what I wanted to show you today. Uh, the coolest part about this, ooh, yeah, we got some, that light is nice. It has some more atmosphere there. And, and see, we're, it does feel like we're coming down to some kind of interesting exoplanet, all right? Um, this area is not done, so let me show you how to do this. We're gonna just go into the sculpture uh, this is normal. Don't freak out. First time that happened to me, I freaked out. What was that? You're inside of a shape, and it was... We were inside of it. All right. Um, now, we actually don't want that shape. We want just the move tool. And all we're going to do is just take this and um, r replicate it and expand it. And the way that I do that is maybe not the best for thermo, and we're gonna check that in a second too. But look here, I have a sphere. 
I thought we should be, I must not be in that sculpture. Yeah, I'm not, whoa. Oh, I'm in that sculpture. Interesting, I wonder if I could do anything to it. Huh, I, let's, let's edit this sculpture, see if it has, eh, eh. well, it says I'm in, okay, yeah, so that, yeah, okay, so you're in that, that, that confirmed which sculpture we're in. I, I wonder if I could paint it. I suppose I can. I don't really want to do this quite yet. We could change the finishes. Yeah, definitely that. I wonder if... Ooh, does it? Oh, it does. Oh, my gosh. I've wanted to do this. So this is kind of fun. We could see all the different things. This is what it was currently. Okay. Uh, the flex. Here's those flex we were talking about. Uh, that's actually cool. Okay, uh, I think we're going with that. That is neat. I like that fleck on there. It looks like it's frozen. It looks frozen, and that's that's what I I like. Um, Earth two is not actually frozen, but ooh, that one's cool too. Hello, interesting super circles. That's cool too. So yeah, you just have to determine which fleck is your style. I think I like that one. Yeah, that's a favorite. Splat's kind of fun too. Ooh, Splat is looking pretty good. Yeah, Splat's a favorite too. Let's go back over here where we have some of this atmospheric stuff happening. It's kind of bulging out. It needs to get fixed a little. Yeah, so you can't really tell Let's let's do the same. Let's do the same with this uh, atmospheric area. We're gonna do this. We'll go into the sculpture, and we're gonna go into the flex, and we're just gonna try some splat. Splat. Ooh, I like the splat. It's it's chaotic, but it's also cool. Okay, we just dropped into the sphere there. And I was hoping, ooh, I might be able to show you something really neat. I was hoping we can go under the clouds uh, to some of these structures. Because a lot of these I've placed under the cloud. And I haven't tried that out yet. This idea, like here, we're not zoomed in. Part of the problem is that the camera doesn't know how big or small to be. So we're a big camera, now we need to go to a small camera, but wow, that is so cool. I wanna go under the clouds, but maybe maybe later we'll drop a, what we could drop a puppet on here and walk around the top of the planet till you fall off, uh, which, oh my goodness, will be so fun for the kids. We'll call it, don't fall off the planet. Um, but yeah, so still, anyways, I'm not doing what I intended to do. Let me possibly put that back to spheres. Okay. Damn. We're in small camera still now. So I was in big camera, small camera, and now we got the small camera problems. So this is the area we're gonna be working on. I'm just gonna successfully make it into some of these and, um, and change their flex. And yeah, the atmosphere is going to get thinned out for sure. And we're probably just going to paint clouds, but these give a nice like feel for what it will eventually be. And okay, so we're in big camera and I'm happy with what we have. Uh, we'll, we'll, we shall leave it. Um, here's what I needed to do was get into this sculpture. I suppose that that's it. All right, there we go. Let's let's test it out just by changing the flick to uh, this. Okay. Oh, now this is interesting because um, it's not changing. And I believe the reason why is because um, we're too far out. Let me grab this tool might help me zoom in and it did.
Okay, cool. Now you can't, now when you zoom in, we can see the flex. Well, what is going on here? This because the, uh, the flex I, I intentionally set to be very small and you see they're triangles, just like we set. Okay, see these triangles here? And that is cool. I, I, I'm not completely against that. And by the way, that is probably why we have super thermal. All right, so we're gonna try to reduce that a little bit. Um, first of all, let's go through some others. There's that, which is nice. I think the one it was originally was this, which is square, cool. Splat, hello Splat. There's my friend Splat. I do like Splat. Um, let's try the other one, the hexadecimal, this one, hexagon. Hexadecimal, that's hilarious. That's not what it is. Um, now these you don't really see the difference until you get close and then and then you see the difference pretty Ooh, well that is this spheres are working too at this level. It's kind of cool. Uh, we're gonna go with the hex No, we're not no. I Thought that's what I wanted um, So it's just that texture right there. Let's just go through a couple yeah, and actually the spheres were nice. The dots. The dots. The dots are good. Splats are good. Straight. Blocky hatching. Cubus. Now you probably have your own favorite. And uh, my favorite is going to be the dots. Uh, all right. Now the other part is super important here. Uh, there's two things for this video. Uh, the first one is where I want to show you how to clone and build. And I showed this a little bit in the last one. Yeah, you just grab anywhere, and there's a mountain range. Satisfying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, it's that guy off of. Um. Despicable me. Another thing I do is go back so you can kind of go forward and back and determine if that's what you want. And I like that. It's cool. I, I'm going to twist it though. Mm -hmm. And all right. <laughs> Drop it down. And that's the thing about this whole mountain range is that it was pretty tall it really didn't need to be that intense um whoa whoa th this is part of the problem very sensitive i probably need to change my settings to not do that to not freak out like that oh the the reason, one of the reasons why is because we are at planetary scale. So that's why, that's a good reason why it moves so fast is because, well, you need, you need it to move fast in order to um, move an entire planet, see? And so that does make sense actually. Oh, now uh, let's do this. I wanted to show you this, gonna clone. So I clone that one and that's beautiful. That's what I was hoping for. Get the spinny thing. <laughs> okay. Um, you can't really, I'm not really getting the exact positions that I want, but also um, you just have to be an unbelievable degree of patience is required for this. Yes. So yeah, we fix that, and I think we're going to fix this one by just pulling it down. Unbelievable degree of patience. Okay, that went good. Ah, I like that. Ooh. <laughs> uh, no. All right, so undo. I'm just going to bring you down. Oh, a volcano would be pretty neat. Oh, let's see if I could get an interesting little circle there. Did I get? Whoa! <laughs> not uh, somebody who knows the quaternion rotations. No, that's probably not what it is. But um, 
Somebody who knows the math is laughing right now. It, yeah, if they were watching this, I, I bet they are. Uh,